हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू के एल एस गोपटे पी यू कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड साइंस बेलगावी सो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन अ टॉपिक सरफेस केमिस्ट्री दिस इज मिस्टर आकाश वसंत नेसरकर लेक्चरर इन केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस सी द कंटेंट्स ऑफ टूडेज क्लास फर्स्ट वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस द कोलाइट्स and later on we will distinguish between the two solution suspension and collides then we'll learn what is mean by dispersive phase and dispersion medium and lastly we will classify collides based on various factor so let us discuss one by one introduction to collides there are number of mixture around us and mixture of substances are classified as a two solution collides and suspension based on their particle size the first one is a two solution student consider an example of salt solution when we add a salt in a water the salt get dissolved in a water and it form a salt solution where the solution is uniform throughout and it is a single phase solution and such type of solution is called homogeneous solution and this homogeneous solution is known as a true solution so true solution is a homogeneous system in which the particle size of all substances is less than 1 nanometer that is 10 to minus 9 meter so true solution it is a kind of homogeneous system where the particle size is less than 1 nanometer the particle size is less than 1 nanometer that is 10 to minus 9 meter example of true solution is a salt solution where salt is a solute and water is a solvent i hope you know what is mean by solute and solvent right okay the second one is suspension see suspension is a heterogeneous system in which the particle size of one of the phase is greater than 1000 nanometer that is 10 raised to minus 6 meter and the example of suspension is sand in water so imagine we are having a sand solution so when we add a sand in a water the sand gets settled at the bottom of the beaker right and you will see the two phase the above layer is a water phase and below layer is what sand phase and therefore the mixture or the solution is not homogeneous it is heterogeneous hetero means different right so heterogeneous system so suspension is a heterogeneous system where you will see the two phases right and such a heterogeneous system where the particle size is more than 1000 nanometer right and such type of solutions are called suspension the suspension it is a type of heterogeneous system in which the particle size is greater than 1000 nanometer the third one collides now this is very important right collides are heterogeneous system in which the particle size of one of the phase range from 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer so it is an intermediate between the two solution and suspension as you can say that because in collides the particles of any one of the phase is range from is range from 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer so collides kya hai it is a solution between the true solution and the suspension but it is a heterogeneous one not a homogeneous so this one you have to remember where the particle size lies between the 1 nanometer and the 1000 nanometer so such type of solutions are called collides for example starch in a water that is a colloidal solution or milk is a colloidal solution okay 
differences between true solution collides and suspension now let us see the differences between the true solution collides and suspension based on various factor the first based on various properties the first property is particle size as i said that when a salt dissolve in a water we cannot see the salt therefore it means that the particle size is less than 1 nanometer so in case of true solution the size of the particle is less than 1 nanometer whereas in case of collides whereas in case of collides the particle size is between 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer and in case of suspension the particle size is more than 1000 nanometer it means that we can easily see the particles by our naked eye so such type of solutions are called suspension the second property is filter ability true solution see we can easily filter the true solution because the size of the particle is very very small so it can pass through the filter paper so it can pass through the filter paper whereas in case of collides the particle size is in between the true solution and suspension and therefore it passes through the ordinary filter but not through the UV filter paper. So colloidal solution can pass through the ordinary filter paper but not through UV filter paper. Next one is suspension. In case of suspension, the particles cannot pass through the ordinary filter paper as well as UV filter paper. UV is nothing but ultraviolet filter paper. The third property is visibility. In case of visibility, Imagine we are having a salt solution. Can you see the salt in water? No, because it is completely get dissolved. So its particles cannot be seen under a microscope. So if you take a microscope to see the salt in a salt water, so it is unable to see the salt particles because it get dissolved and their particle size is less than 10 raised to minus 9 meter or 1 nanometer. So, in case of true solution, we cannot see the particle under a microscope. Whereas in case of collides, its particle can be seen by powerful microscope due to scattering of light. So, in case of colloidal solution, we can see the particles by using the powerful microscope because it shows the scattering of light. The particles which are present in a colloidal solution shows the scattering of light and due to that, we can see the particles very easily. And in case of suspension, suspension, we can easily see the particles by our naked eyes. So it means that particles are very visible. Last one is what? Appearance. So true solution is a homogeneous means it is a single phase and it is a transparent one. Whereas in case of colloidal solution, it is semi-transparent means not completely transparent. You can say like this. And in case of suspension, it is opaque. Last, next one. True solution is a homogeneous, whereas colloidal solution is a heterogeneous and suspension, it is also heterogeneous. So only true solution is a homogeneous because it form a single phase solution. Whereas in case of collides and suspension, it form double phase or more than that, more than two phases solution. As I said that in a previous slide, the collide is a heterogeneous system. So in case of heterogeneous system, there are two phases. The first one is dispersion medium or it is also called as a continuous phase. And the second one is a dispersion phase. Like in a solution, we are having solute and another one is solvent, right? So similarly, in a colloidal solution, we are having dispersion medium and another is dispersor phase. So your dispersor phase is a solute and the dispersion medium is what a solvent. So don't get confused. In case of true solution, we can use these words that is solute and solvent. But in case of colloidal solution, we have to use dispersor phase and the dispersion medium or continuous phase these are the words we have to use in case of colloidal solution so what is a dispersion medium or continuous phase 
so it is very simple the continuous medium in which the collider particles are dispersed or it is a substance present in a larger quantity so it is very easy the substance which is present in a larger quantity is called the dispersion medium so in order to understand that see if you take salt or sand in a water so water is your dispersion medium and sand or salt those are what yes dispersed phase so generally we can say that dispersion medium is nothing but what solvent so in order to understand you can remember like this dispersion medium is nothing but what solvent so we know that solvent is present in a larger quantity always so dispersion medium the it is a substance present in a larger quantity and dispersion phase the substance present in a smaller quantity or it is a discontinuous phase of a colloidal particles in a colloidal system so these are the two parts present in a colloidal solution that is a dispersion medium which is a present in larger quantity and dispersive phase which is present in smaller quantity fine okay now let us classify the colloids classification of colloids are based on various factor the first classification is so we can classify the colloids in three main classes the first one is what the classification of colloid based on physical state so this is very important based on physical state of the dispersive phase and the dispersion medium okay so your dispersive phase may be gas gas or it may be liquid 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 or it may be solid 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 and dispersion medium also it may be liquid solid gas etc so based on that we are having number type of colloidal solution and you can easily understand by knowing their example okay so let us study one by one so first one when the dispersive phase is a gas and when gas is dissolved in a liquid so it form the type of a colloidal solution it is called foam so foam that is very you can see the example froth okay so froth or whipped cream so jo uh, aap shaving cream aapko malum hoga shaving cream use karte hai na so shaving cream mein froth generate hota hai so that is an example of what gas dispersed in liquid so type of a colloidal solution is a foam so that is a froth or whipped cream whipped cream is also an example of a foam colloidal solution where the dispersive phase is a gas and dispersion medium is a liquid so liquid present in a larger quantity and gas is present in a smaller quantity so better you remember the example that is shaving cream okay shave shaving cream jab karte samay wo jo face aata hai so isme kya zyada tar liquid present rehta hai aur kam se kam gas present rehta hai so type of a colloidal solution is what foam it is called as a foam next second one when the gas is a dispersive phase and the dispersion medium is a solid the type of a colloidal solution is what solid sol it is called as a solid sol an example is what pumice stone or pumic stone so this stone is used by the artist okay so it is used for the artist so that is a kind of pumice stone so it is called as a solid sol where gas is a dispersive phase and the dispersion medium is a solid so next one is what liquid is a dispersive phase and dispersion medium is a gas so type of the colloidal solution is what aerosol of a liquid it is very important whenever you will get the dispersion medium as a gas the type of the colloidal solution is what aerosol you remember this one it's a very important whenever the dispersion medium is a gas the type of the colloidal solution is what aerosol if the dispersive phase is a liquid then we can say that aerosol of a liquid and the example is fog so winter season mein hum fog jo fog dikhta hai morning session mein morning morning so that is an example of what aerosol of a liquid type of a colloidal solution is what aerosol where liquid is present as a dispersive phase and gas is a present as a dispersion medium the next one is liquid is a dispersive phase and liquid is a dispersion medium so when this 
डिस्पर्स ऑफ इज लिक्विड डिस्पर्स रही है लिक्विड डिस्पर्शन मीडियम द टाइप ऑफ द कोलाइड सोल्यूशन इज नोन एज इमल्शन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट मेनी टाइम्स इट इज आस्क इन अ एग्जामिनेशन सो वॉट इज द डिस्पर्स ऑफ इज प्रेजेंट इन अ इमल्शन सो डिस्पर्स ऑफ इज इज लिक्विड एंड डिस्पर्शन मीडियम इज ऑल्सो लिक्विड सो बोथ द फेज एंड मीडियम बोथ आर लिक्विड एंड द टाइप ऑफ अ कोलाइड सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड इमल्शन एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज वॉट मिल्क सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मिल्क इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इमल्शन नेक्स्ट वन लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड सो वेन लिक्विड डिस्पर्सर इन अ सॉलिड डिस्पर्शन मीडियम देन द टाइप ऑफ द कोलाइड सोल्यूशन इज वॉट जेल एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज जेलीज सो यू नो बेटर जेलीज जो केक पे रहते हैं और जेली चॉकलेट सो दैट इज अ जेल टाइप ऑफ कोलाइड सोल्यूशन नेक्स्ट वन वेन सॉलिड डिस्पर्सर इन अ गैस सो अगेन द डिस्पर्शन मीडियम में क्या आ गया गैस सो इट इज वॉट एरोसोल ऑफ सॉलिड सो स्मोक इज एन एग्जाम्पल सो स्मोक इज अ एरोसोल वेर द सॉलिड इज अ डिस्पर्स ऑफ इज एंड द डिस्पर्शन मीडियम इज वॉट गैस नेक्स्ट वन सॉलिड इज अ डिस्पर्स ऑफ इज एंड वेन द लिक्विड इज द डिस्पर्शन मीडियम इट मीन दैट वेन सॉलिड डिस्पर्स इन अ लिक्विड द टाइप ऑफ कोलाइड सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड सोल एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज पेंट्स सो जो भी हम पेंट लगाते हैं दीवार को सो दैट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सोल कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन वेर लिक्विड इज प्रेजेंट इन अ लार्जर क्वान्टिटी एंड मिनिमम क्वान्टिटी इज वो सॉलिड एंड द लास्टली वी आर हैविंग सॉलिड सॉलिड एंड द टाइप ऑफ कोलाइड सोल्यूशन वो सॉलिड सोल एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज वॉट रूबी ग्लास सो यू हैव सीन मेनी रूबी ग्लासेस आर देयर around us so that is an example of a solid soul so this classification is based on the physical state of a dispersive phase and the dispersion medium so it is very important for cet purpose they may ask a question for one mark okay so what type of a dispersive phase is present in emulsion or what type of a dispersion medium is present in aerosol of liquid so like this they can ask the question so you better remember the examples so if you remember the examples it is easy to remember the type of a colloidal solution the second class is based on the interaction between the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium so there is always a interaction between the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium in a colloidal solution and based on this interaction we are having two types of colloidal solution one is lyophilic colloids and another is lyophobic colloids so lyo means solvent and philic means loving so let us see the first one so lyo means what solvent and philic means loving so these are the solvent loving colloidal solution the colloids in which the particles of the dispersed phase have great affinity for the dispersion medium so they will show the great affinity towards the dispersion medium and such type of lyophilic colloids are called so so such type of a solution is called lyophilic colloid which shows great affinity towards the dispersion medium so therefore it is called as a solvent loving our dispersion medium is nothing but what solvent only so it shows great affinity towards the solvent so dispersive phase shows great affinity towards the solvent examples are gelatin insulin and gum these are the examples of lyophilic colloids the second one lyophobic colloid lyo means again it is a solvent and phobic mean it is heating so these are what solvent heating these are what solvent heating colloidal solution the colloidal solution in which there is a no much affinity between the particles of dispersive phase and the dispersion medium and such type of colloidal solution is called lyophobic colloids so liquid dispersion medium lovings are lyophilic colloids and dispersion medium heating those are lyophobic colloids so let us see the differences between the lyophilic and the lyophobic colloid the first one lyophilic colloids these colloids are liquid loving we know that and lyophobic colloids are what liquid heating next second one the particles of dispersive phase have great affinity for the dispersion medium we know that right dispersive phase have dispersive phase particles have great affinity towards the dispersion medium in case of lyophilic colloids whereas in case of lyophobic colloids 
the particles of dispersive phase have no affinity for the dispersion medium the third one they are very stable lyophilic colloids are very stable because they have the great affinity towards the dispersion medium and they are very stable and whereas in case of lyophobic colloids they are unstable and to get the stability we require the stabilizing agents to stable the lyophilic colloids we require the stabilizing agent fourth one they are easily formed by direct mixing so we can easily form the lyophilic colloids by direct mixing whereas in case of lyophobic colloids we require a specific method to prepare the lyophobic colloids yes it is little difficult to prepare the lyophobic collide because we require the specific methods next one fifth one they are reversible in nature so lyophilic collides are reversible in nature so we can again regenerate the dispersion phase and the dispersion medium so in this manner we can say that they are reversible in nature whereas in case of lyophobic collides they are irreversible because we have prepared those collides by using the specific method and therefore we cannot regenerate the dispersive phase and the dispersion medium sixth one in case of lyophilic collides the particles are not easily visible under microscope so the particles of lyophilic collides cannot be seen under microscope whereas in case of lyophobic collide the particles are easily detected using ultra microscope by using ultra microscope we can see the particles of lyophobic collides next one the classification based on the type of particles of the dispersive phase so here it is very important these types of uh, collider solutions are very important and these are based on the size of the particles of the dispersive phase jo bhi dispersive phase ke particles ke size rehta hai uske upar ek classification hai the first one is multi molecular collide try to understand the meaning of the word multi molecular multi means many molecules combined together to form multi molecular so the collides in which the large number of small particles the large number of small particles aggregate to form the particles having the size in the colloidal range are called multi molecular collides so yahan pe kya hota hai jo bhi smaller particle hote hain smaller particle combine together to form disperse a phase particle to form a colloidal solution so small particle kya hote hain मिक्स होके बड़ा पार्टिकल फॉर्म होता है जो कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन के लिए रिक्वायर है और इट विल फॉर्म अ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन एंड दैट टाइप ऑफ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन इज इज कॉल्ड मल्टी मोलिकुलर वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मल्टी मोलिकुलर बिकॉज लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल पार्टिकल एग्रीगेट टू फॉर्म पार्टिकल ऑफ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन एंड देयर फोर इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मल्टी मोलिकुलर कोलाइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल गोल्ड सोल कंटेंस पार्टिकल्स ऑफ वेरियस साइज हैविंग सेवरल आइटम्स so gold solids can be formed by a various size of having several atoms the next one micromolecular collides the second one is what micromolecular collides the substance having the molecules of large size when dispersed in a med medium medium to form micromolecules of the colloidal range are called micromolecules so let me tell you micro means a bigger one सो so, यहाँ पे डिस्पर्स फेज में एक बिग मॉलिक्यूल है डिस्पर्स फेज का उसी के उसी के साथ हम क्या बना सकते हैं कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन में सो वी आर हैविंग हेयर बिग माइक्रो मॉलिक्यूल साइज र डिस्पर्सर फेज विच इज जनरेट अ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन एंड सच टाइप ऑफ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड माइक्रो मॉलिकुलर सो ट्रेस द वर्ल्ड यहाँ पे माइक्रो इज नथिंग बट बिग मॉलिक्यूल विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू फॉर्म अ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन एंड सच टाइप ऑफ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड माइक्रो मॉलिकुलर कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन एंड लास्टली एसोसिएटिव कोलाइड्स दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए मिसिली द सब्सटेंस विच ऑन डिजोल्यूशन इन अ मीडियम बिहेव एज ए नॉर्मल इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एट अ लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन but behave a colloidal particle at a high concentration due to the formation of aggregate of particles are called associative collides so this is very important so at a low concentration it the solution is behaves as a electrolyte but 
as the concentration increases it the particles combine together and it form a bigger molecule and it form a associative collide and such type of associative collide is called micelle so we are going to focus on the micelle in our next class so what is actually micelle means an associative collide so this associative collide is very very important so remember multi molecular means smaller molecule smaller particles aggregate to form big particle and whereas micro molecule one micro molecule to form a colloidal solution and associative colloidal particle at a high concentration the due to the formation of aggregate of particles it form a colloidal solution so at high concentration particles combine together to form aggregate particle to form a colloidal solution so such type of solution is called associative collides or micelle so we'll stop here and about associative collides we will discuss in a next class thank you